Spencer. Goodness, he's not going to pass it as he does to Rocco Thoko. Love watching Carl Spencer and how he played, and he'd just do anything from anywhere, so I always loved watching him. Carl Spencer, magical in the backyard trying to copy his little knee chip kicks and stuff like that. Spencer again nudging ahead. Well, it's this Carlos Spencer show. And then obviously Aaron Cruden being a smaller, smaller guy and um, yeah, those two are probably the big ones. Ehia West, born in the Bay, inspired by the likes of Spencer and Cruden, as unpredictable as both. The boy in the backyard who taught himself the tricks of the trade. Dad wasn't much of a rugby player, he sort of was a bit of a hockey player and mum wasn't very sporty at all, so yeah, I don't know, I just guess all the kids sort of try and play rugby um, at a young age. They started at five at Havelock Rugby Club and just sort of all went from there, I suppose. West style, mercurial, at times magical, has seen him become one of the country's most exciting provincial players. His performances for the Magpies were as eye-catching as his style was hard to define. I've always been pretty lucky with the coaches I've had. They've given me the license to go out there and sort of play how I want to, and if something's on, then they back me to try and take the space wherever it is. West takes on the line, West. Usually I'd sort of sit there first five and try and chuck the ball wide to like Gillies or someone and, and get them to try and do something special, but it sort of just opened up in front of me and I've sort of just been lucky enough to, to get through a hole and go all the way. Yeah, I don't really sit there and think about coming up with a big play. It's more, it's just opened up there and been pretty lucky, I suppose. Looks inside, finds support. Here goes the West. 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 can't believe it. Unbelievable play from the Magpies. Being at the Chiefs for pre-season and then leaving, then going back home to a bit of club rugby and then watching it all from home was, yeah, it was a bit disappointing, but. Um, when Jake gave me the call to come up here, it was, uh, it was pretty cool, and I'm, I'm loving the super experience. That super experience finally began with a debut against the Reds at Eden Park. West coming into a match against some of the biggest names in super rugby. Yeah, there was a few nerves, obviously, being the first, uh, being my debut. I was sort of sitting there on the bench waiting for my opportunity, and I was just looking out there, saw Will Guinea and Quay Cooper, and I was like, wow, what am I up to out here? Shit. We had a pretty good lead, so it made it easier coming on, and we couldn't really lose the game from where we were, and, and the boys were going real well, so I had confidence in them just to help me out and, and do what we've trained. And now the Havelock kid, the boy from the village click, has a foot in the Blues' door. Question now is, how keen is he to step right through? It'll be just performing the last few games if I get a chance to play, and um, trying to get a contract for next year. If that's doing my homework, that's performing well on the field and just making an impact on the franchise and hopefully putting pen to paper later on.